Hello and welcome to the MCM London Comic Con. I'm Ben. I'm Adam. And I'm Mark. And we are Skip to the End, podcast partners of the MCM Comic Con. Mark, do you want to tell them a little bit about what we're going to be doing this weekend? Yeah, we've got a weekend full of interviewing amazing people from TV and film. And Adam? Uh, we're also going to be taking the sights and sounds of the convention. And we've got a question of the day for you every day this weekend. So, let's get started. Here at the MCM Buzz Stand, we've now been joined by Victoria Smurfit and Merin Dungey, two of the stars <laughs> of Once Upon a Time. So, ladies, thank you very much for joining us. Oh, thank me. you for having us. Uh, so, Merin, uh, yeah. how are you enjoying the convention so far? Oh, it's fantastic. I love the Brits. I'm an Anglophile. I married a Brit. I like being oh, here. Oh, you're, you're one of us now. I'm one, yeah, I feel like I can make a good mean cup of tea. So, oh, you well, know there what? There you go. You're part of the club right? now, yeah. I even so, know, like, good tea from bad tea, <laughs> the PG tips, the twinnings. You know what I'm saying? Oh, all the big brands, Come on. yeah. <laughs> So, in terms of the, the fans that you've met, uh, have you seen any in, any particularly interesting costumes so far? Well, we heard that there's Cruellas and Ursulas around the place, but we haven't met them yet, so I'm a little upset about that. I'm dying to track them down. Any Cruella and Ursula cosplayers, please come to the MCM Buzz. Any uh, Cruella and, M uh, what is it, Ursulas, Ursula. come to the MCM Buzz. Thank you. <laughs> and that leads us beautifully onto the show. So, you two uh, both joined this series in season four. So how was it for you joining a show that was already up and running, that was already a well-oiled machine? Well, we were quite lucky because um, we came in as a trio. So there was the Queens of Darkness, you have uh, Maleficent, Ursula and Corella coming in together. So we instantly had a sort of a, a posse of our own. We were our own team arriving. Um, so there was sort of a security and, and fun in that. And uh, just before us, they had the Frozen characters were there. And I was trying to explain to the creators that I, I loved his wisdom of bring in the 20 year old girls and they're soft and they're sweet and they're nice and then pick up three uh, 40 year old actresses and we're evil and we're mean and we're dark, dark you know? yeah. so I just said that's what happens in the 20 year interim pretty much so we were, we were good but the good thing is is like when you're entering that well oiled machine where they make a movie every 10 days you know you're walking into like a group of people who are super professional everyone's lovely and very welcoming because they just want to they want people to come play cool. with them you know yeah. and they're on top I mean oh, Ginny yeah. and Josh and everybody like they're ready to go it's it's a great group and we've spoken to some people who played real life characters and they go off and then do their research you were playing established characters so did you go back and look at older performances of Cruella de Vil and Ursula and take inspiration from those I spent some time in the sea <laughs> with my brethren no I it, it, we none of us we all kind of backed off yeah. from studying that and I I mean I was saying earlier what I tried to do was get into the get into the voice of that because you know I can't exactly put on her shoes or tentacles you know I need to like what how do I find my way in and for me it was the voice with Corolla I um, I watched the cartoon I went back to the cartoon she terrified me as a small child and uh, so I went back to that to try and find the angles and 
and the sense of her, but I couldn't go near the Glen Close one because I, I, I'd be terrified. You can't go in and try and take over from Glen Close. So um, I, I made the executive decision to ignore that deeply and then just make my own version of her, really, um, from the script. But I will say that you never broke, like you were perfection with that, with your your coats and your shoes. Like it would be, we'd be like knee deep in mud and I didn't care. I was like, I am wearing my wellies and my Uggs and like anything. And you know, we would be out there and you'd be in those high heels yeah, and the gems and just like always like <laughs> slinging it around. And it was just like, you were ready, you know, it was good. Loved you it. never broke Earth, you know, uh, Cruella, you were there. I actually am Cruella. Exclusive yeah. uh, for the MCM Comic Con. I'll let you know now. <laughs> and how have you found the fan reaction to your characters? That's the best part, don't oh. you think? Yeah, the, the the Once fans. Upon a Time fans are so supportive. They, 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 I think, know the show better than anybody else by the creators. They're, they're really 100% there behind you and love it and, and really into the characters as, as real life humans that they, they've, they've uh, sort of attached so much of. of um, their lives too, which is great. And we're getting to meet them all here, which is just brilliant. Oh, I'm getting hugged left, right, and center. I'm loving it. Haven't had to skin one person. <laughs> well, not luckily, one, luckily. not one. But I also feel that, like, what's so great is that, like, we came in for, like, a brief period of time. Yeah. And still the fans were like, oh my God, like, super psyched before we even, like, when they heard we were coming. And then, like, when we did that one brief episode before the winter finale, they, like, were going crazy. And then, like, as it built, like, it was just. You know, it's it's also great with social media to be able to play with your fans and to communicate with them and get them excited. They get you excited and like, you know, they feel yeah. you. It's just it's, you know, and then you get to come to a comic con like this and actually get to like, you know, 3D the experience. So it's pretty cool. And uh, Merrin, you're no stranger to genre TV. You're one of the original stars of Alias, which is one of my favorite all-time shows, by the way. Um, what was it like working with J.J. Abrams back in the day and? Before he became the big JJ. Before he's like, I vote, now I can't get him on the phone. <laughs> um, working with JJ is like truly one of the greatest gifts. He's the nicest guy. He's so wicked smart. And he was so generous of spirit. You know, he took care of his cast and crew like you don't even understand. Like it was constantly love and support and gifts and t shirts and coffee trucks and. Anything, you know, because we would work hard. Like, many, many hours you'd be fighting the light, like, in the morning. I mean, like, the daylight. Like, you'd have what we call in America a Friday, where you work Friday turns into Saturday. And, like, the day that, like, I shot myself, like, when my evil twin killed me, um, I worked a whole day and then started a whole nother, like, like uh, uh, episode, you know. Whoa. Yeah, I worked from, like, Whoa. the morning until, like, 6, and then, like, at eight o'clock at night until three in the morning I worked a whole nother like second unit day Whoa. but I didn't care because when when people are like lovely and supportive you will give them you know everything a kidney you'll give them a kidney and then the best part was for me like the end of the first season when JJ came over and said do you know how to fight and I said no and he said learn <laughs> and it's like all I needed was the invitation so that was super exciting and uh, Victoria, you've worked on both sides of the pond. Have you found any major differences between working in Britain and, uh, and Ireland as opposed to working in the States? Um, more tea catering. over here, presumably? Pardon? More tea on this side? Um, there's catering. more custard creams here, which um, I do miss, I have to be honest with you. You're, the craft service in the US is, is pretty incredible. You can eat all day long there. Um, whereas here you have to fight the uh, supporting artists for the custard creams on the, on the tea trolley at, by four o'clock. Uh, but no, it's... It's more. I mean, it's more of a machine in the sense that it's it's the the shows are big and they're they're motoring along and you have to like catch the conveyor belt and and go for it. Um, in in the UK, we tend to work more where you rehearse and then the camera would be set to your rehearsal. Whereas in the US, cameras are set, lights are set, and you fit into into their box. So that way, that took me a, a while, a moment to adjust to whatever it is that you thought you were going to do you're going to have to revamp it to fit what's already there um, and they know what they're doing it's just it's there's little little tweaks like that but yeah the food's better it's, there's more but of no it. one eats it i know yeah that's the true food is better, but nobody eats i it. was working with an actress once not you um and i said to her we were working through the night and it was a big fight scene and she said to me um i said just i'm starving and she goes i'm so hungry too I said, well, I'm going to the craft service. Do you want anything? She was like, oh, yeah. Could you get me, like, a really big glass of water? I'm like, 
are you aware that's not actually food? So yeah, you, you, sometimes you can feel slightly guilty for chewing and swallowing. And Everyone's that's great. juicing. Yeah. It's Everyone's like there's, there's, juicing. There's, there's like all this free food, you know, like this incredible catering, and then there's like, no, but I've got my juices in the trailer. What? <laughs> I know. Everyone juices. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we like our food. We prefer our food over here. Yeah. Amen. So, um, that never met a the, carbohydrate uh, you didn't like. Oh, yeah. oh. No. The first oh, time I saw my my in-laws and my husband make a chip butty, oh, as I have my fish and chips and I'm scraping the carbohydrate off of it, <laughs> and they bring out the loaf of bread and the butter, and I'm like, oh my, you're actually putting French fries and on bread. and butter yeah. on white bread. Oh yeah. What is happening? <laughs> why you love here. I do. That's a delicacy over here. That's, that's what we do. But uh, thanks a lot for joining me today. I, I really oh, do God, appreciate thanks. it. So you've got some more time to go off and meet your fans now. So, uh, so thanks we'll a lot. We'll go do it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, stay tuned. We've uh, got plenty more to come. I love it. We're like, we could keep talking. <laughs>